This is the new Mini EV, and if you're thinking it looks like a regular Mini, well, you're absolutely right. It's based on the same Mini that they've been making for around about the last 15 years or so. They've just ripped out the internal combustion engine and replaced it with an electric powertrain. There's three specs available. This is the Mini Yours, and I'm going to be taking one of these for a more deeper dive test drive in the coming weeks. But today being World EV Day, Mini have taken myself and a few other journalists out for a bit of a fun day out driving electric go-karts and driving this car around town, which is a little bit like a go-kart. It really does have that go-kart kind of feel but it is tremendously fun to drive. So why don't we go for a quick spin now and check out some of the key features. Now BMW have just announced that Mini will go completely electric by 2030. That's just eight years away from now. And they're kind of lulling us into it by turning the existing Mini into an EV. So what they've done with this car is taken the existing chassis and actually made a T-shaped electric battery for it that sits underneath the back seat. So that's actually been raised up a little higher and the battery extends down the transmission tunnel. So they can keep the same chassis as the petrol car and just literally put in the electric powertrain. Mini has always positioned itself as a fun, youthful and inclusive brand. And that can mean inclusivity on any number of levels but primarily they're focusing on sustainability and environmental friendliness, which is what's happening across the entire BMW group. BMW really are going to lengths to make their entire production process as carbon free and environmentally sustainable as possible, incorporating as many sustainable different uh, materials throughout the entire production process, and even doing things like making batteries that have second lives as power supplies. Mini probably have the greatest market penetration for any brand as far as EV sales go because already 40% of all Minis sold are electric. And that just shows how Mini have really gone to lengths to make the driving experience of these EVs as close to the original petrol cars as possible. So when you're cornering at speed, it stays perfectly flat. You really do get that great go-kart sensation driving one of these cars. I'm driving in a park right now where the speed limit is 30, so I really can't demonstrate that for you. And unlike some manufacturers who only give you a standard 240 volt plug to plug your car in and charge it at home, which can sometimes take two days, Mini have included a high speed charging plug as well. So you get two plugs, which is great because you can actually charge this car to 80% at a high speed charger in just 36 minutes. And once you have a full charge in your battery, you have a full range of 233 kilometers, which makes this a city car. And stats show that the average Australian driver only does about 30 kilometers a day. So you're looking at charging this car maybe once a week. There are three drive modes, Sport, Green, Green Plus, and well, there's four, Normal. And you do notice uh, quite a bit of dulling in acceleration when you're in the green modes. Green Plus even switches off the climate control. Sport switches everything on and the accelerator does become just a little bit touchy. There's regenerative braking as well, which allows for one pedal driving. Although I have noticed, especially when you're coming up to a tight corner, you know, going around a bend on a street, it can get just a little bit jumpy and you're doing that kind of jerky thing a little bit. So. It's probably just a bit of practice, needs a little bit of finesse just to get it right. The other thing I've noticed on this brief test drive also is that the nav system is not great. It's in fact actually quite confusing with lines showing white, blue, green, yellow. It's very hard to tell which way you're supposed to be going just from the nav system and the spoken commands aren't really all that clear either. It did take me a little while to get comfortable in the seat. There's no electric adjustment, it's manual only. And the seats, while they are leather and feel quite comfortable, there's not a lot of padding there, so they are fairly firm. Speaking of firm, so is the suspension. Um, look, day-to-day -day driving, even on speed humps, it's okay, but there are a lot of potholes around at the moment because we've had a lot of rain and it can get quite rough then and you can really hear that bounce going on. So not ideal, but expected in a car like this. 
The Mini EV is not the cheapest or largest EV you can get, but it is one of the most fun. It really does drive like a regular Mini. It's like a go-kart for the road. Now, like I said, I'll be doing a deeper dive into this car in the next few weeks. But in the meantime, if you are thinking about going electric, then you should definitely think about putting one of these on your test drive shopping list.